right there is something up there in those rocks and it is a person <laughs> is it per has a person joined my world somehow because suddenly i don't feel so alone and i'm feeling a little bit creeped out what is going on hold on a second hold on a second i had to hit record i wasn't ready for this but i'm telling you there's someone over there and as far as I'm aware, this world is closed off to the public. Um, who wants to... Yeah, come over here, Grafinski. Come over here and show me show me what's going up there in the rocks. Because uh, this shouldn't be happening. And I'm mildly, majorly terrified. Where... Oh! <laughs> oh, I feel so dumb. It's Mr. Vista, Vista. It's one of the buses. Oh, of course it is. Oh, all right. Now... I hope this guy's not aggressive. I actually don't know if he is or not. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the, I guess they're called pseudo bosses. One of the guys we're gonna kill to eventually summon in the end game bosses. Um, also tameable, but not quite tameable just yet. Uh, by us at least. Oh, okay, all right, all right, we can rest. We can be at ease. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Guys, welcome back though. Welcome back to our Pugnacious series, where today, well, I'm hoping we can use some of our uh, newly acquired what are these things called again our instant golden kibble to so actually do some instant golden taming um we actually did it yesterday we got our hands on this beast right here our primal spinosaurus um we didn't really pump him up in um you know stats too much we in fact we haven't at all uh so i want to unleash this guy and see what he's fully capable of and hey hopefully we can come across something else something Something, something else we can use some of these kibble on. Um, also, I swear this is a new saddle texture. I, I don't remember ever seeing this before, so that's pretty darn cool. Anyways, on top of all of that, we've also got our hands on um, a lot of chibis recently, which is something I wanted to have a look at because, in case you don't recall, uh, we got this thing here, which is a chibi grinder, which I think what we can do is grind up chibis uh, to then get this, which is chibi blood. And I don't know what chibi blood is, is used for, but I, I want to find out. Um, I think I might need some gasoline to power the thing, though. So let's just grab some of that. And yeah, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna grind some poor little chibis. So yeah, we turn this thing on. Do I want to save any of them before I do this? Do we want to, like, rescue any? Our little bobby doggy thing was pretty cool. And then we got a skeletal giga. I'll bring that. And then everything else can go. Everything else can go. All right. So, you know what? Let me start off with the, the, the nothing ones, the, all the green ones, because I think they're like the the most common. I think that's how it works. Um, I don't know. Something like that. Three, two, one, let's go. Bam. And they're all gone. We're kind of bad about that. Turn off. Um, but then we got chibi blood. And I, <laughs> I don't know what to do with the chibi blood. <laughs> Is there something I can craft using this? No, there's, there's nothing chibi-like in here. I'm assuming there's something to do with it in here. Or there's also the chance that uh, this thing here... Nope. Uh, this one here, our recipe book. I wonder if something in here has something to do with chibi blood. I wonder, I wonder if we can... Ah, here we go. Hold on a second. We can make animal crackers <laughs> made with chibi blood and bread. And then I guess we got to find out how to make bread somehow which is one of these other recipes i suppose but why okay here we go bread made with flat okay I, okay I mean, what's the point what is the point of that what does it get me G gabe and nari's animal crackers but but what's the point i kind of want to do this now just to see what happens but you know what that's not that important right this second what i do want to do though is uh Head out on my friend over here. So let's stop wasting time and let's bust out this beast. Now, this Touchwood should be our strongest creature to date. We took it for a little bit of a test drive at the end of the last episode. Um, it shoots spikes out its back, but it's pretty darn sweet too. Um, should be able to absolutely annihilate everything we run into, but I don't know. There's always room for surprises when it comes to these mods. Um, we can go and level the thing up. Let's get its health up. That gets it to about half a million. Uh, a little bit of movement speed, because why not? And then let's just crank on the damage. Um, that's probably where majority of our levels are going to go from now on too. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. As much as I want to tame the big old crab here. Um, well, I, I can't tame it yet. Unless I... Do I let it go? 
Oh no, now I'm kind of reconsidering. Also, there's a flagrant frog over there. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna let the let the khaki go. I want to tame him. I just I need explosive damage to do it. Um, and I don't have my hands on any explosive damage just yet. So I guess we'll keep on working towards that. But we're not quite ready just yet. So he gets to live. But there was a conflagrant beast with Bufo over there, which is good. Because, um, well, my conflagrant beast with Bufo died a little while ago. And I'm still kind of sad about that. Kind of, yeah, it's very sad. Sad times, but what are we going to do? It is what it is, I suppose. Now, keeping my eyes peeled for any other primals we might encounter today. Because uh, that is, after all, the entire point of these instant golden kibbles that can tame uh, creatures that nothing else can. Um, we're also, I guess, looking for ancients. If we can find some ancient rexes, ancient turkeys, ancient mosasaurs, um, we're going to kill them uh, and get their little bits and pieces so we can tame more creatures uh, and more of these fancy creatures. Also, beaver dam right here. Hold on a second. Two of them. Yes, please. And thank you. We got silica pearls and a bunch of other junk. And then what have you got inside of you? Much of a muchness. Oh, snap. Okay, please, please, please. No, no, no. Spider, it, spider, it, spider. It. Don't let me die. Don't let me die. Oh, gosh. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Oh, no. That we're good. Yeah. He saves me. <laughs> All right. 30 more levels. Let's get these all into damage. Because I can't think of a reason not to. And I really should have ground up some of the uh, some of the loot we got from yesterday, but that's fine. Okay, making our way through the swamp. And the reason I'm heading towards the Redwood Forest biome uh, is because I know that there are a bunch of primals that actually spawn out there. We got basilisks. We've got um, arthropleuras, I'm pretty sure. I think there are also um, thylacolios. I don't know which are the strongest. I don't know which are the best, but... They're the type of creatures we're looking for. Um, also, up on the mountain range, there is the chance of glacial gigas. Those things are absolutely insane. Um, what else is there? There are a few others. I think there's also Gigantopithecuses, Griffins, Argies, and obviously they're all found on the mountaintop as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of cool things that we can go looking for over in this direction. Um, and I'm just going to kill everything that I can on the way over there. Because why not? I want the experience. I want the levels. And, uh, but yeah, that's about it. I do have a question for you all, though. How are you all finding Aberration so far for Ark Survival Ascended? I did have a little bit of a play with it, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of mixed feelings. I don't know if I'm going to do a series on there. I think a lot of people are playing through it at the moment. And <gasps> Primal Arthropleura and Primal, Primal Basilisk. Yo! Oh, okay. Actually, we're going to be careful. We're going to be careful going anywhere near these guys. Um, the Basilisk sets off a massive, like, explosion of torpor if you go near it. Um, it's deadly. It's destructive. It's, it's terrible. So what is that? Deviant Bigfoot. Have a look at you. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Um, basically, uh, it could knock us out and probably any of our teams out. And we, we kind of don't want that. That would be really bad. Um, however... Having that ability in the palm of my hands would be pretty sweet. Um, okay. I think we're going to retire my friend here for the second. Hold on. I'm pressing all sorts of wrong buttons. We're going to send my guy here home for a sec. We're going to have to switch out for our... Is he even still alive? I can't see him. All right. We're going to switch out for our poison wyvern. Um, we, yeah, we... Oh, dude. He's like right outside our base. Um, I also don't know what to do about these bosses because they are spawning in way weaker than they're meant to be. And I feel like it would be a little cheesy to kill it. But then again, maybe I do need to just protect our base. <laughs> he looks like he wants to come in. I don't know if he's going to be aggressive or not. I could, I could certainly kill him maybe, but he also might kill us. You know what I mean? It's a little bit of a tricky one. Um... Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think he seems pretty calm for the time being. So I think I'm going to let him go. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is where have I left? I was going to say my conflagrant Dodecurus. There you are. 
All right, I got some res I got some some things that need you to grind up for me, mate. Um, that's a really good pickaxe. I'll keep that, and you can have everything else. All right, I set you to wonder. I disable you from wondering, and now we have resources. I don't know why you had the giga on you. We got fifteen hundred metal from that. That is what I'm talking about. That is exactly why we're doing that. Nice, 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 nice. Cool. Um, you can have my brains too while you're at it. Eh, uh, take those two. Okay. Okay. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. Poison friend, snake eyes. Come over here, buddy. All right. Uh, we must head back to where we just were, which is right here. I honestly don't know if the basilisk is still alive. He disappeared. I didn't see him um, before we shot on over here. So I'm a little worried. Um, but at the same time, oopsie, wrong button. Um, these Arthropleurus, kind of intrigued by them too. They generate artifacts, which can be really, really helpful. Um, but for now, where's the big snakes gone? I actually don't know if he's around here anymore. But where there is one, there will be others. So let's go exploring. Oh, nice. <laughs> we got a brood mother out here too. So we got that to concern us. Uh, lots of brood mothers. I just saw a snake. I don't know where it went. Disappeared as well. Um, I can see some particles maybe over here. Hold on a second. If there were, they're gone. Or maybe it was just a parasirathium. I think it was just a parasa. Um, but the dead giveaway for finding these guys is these little particle effects that kind of like fly out of it. Um, so we're keeping an eye out for those. Like this guy. See them? That is a primal thylacolia. Very strong one. And he just hopped down from the tree. Thankfully not to come and tackle us. But that would be an issue perhaps. Um, kind of tempted to tame it to be honest. But let's just keep moving for the time being. Um... Yeah, we'll find something eventually. Dang it. We're so close to actually having the Basilisk. That would have been so cool. But I guess it just wasn't meant to be for the time being. I don't know. Um, oh, hello. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, look at the size of this one. Oh, great. He's gone into the ground though. Um, oh, man. Oh, okay, okay. Look, I need to see what he just did. He just instantly knocked out that Diplo. And that is what I'm nervous about. That's why I need to be very careful when it comes to knocking this thing out. Because if he gets his torpor off before I get mine, he could probably, I don't know. I know it's a big range and I, he could probably hit me from over here. But I'm just going to sit at a safe distance and do what I got to do to get this guy asleep and keep myself safe. There we go. I think that's it. Nice. Perfect. Okay. We're safe. I think. Oh, we're not safe. We're not safe. Wait, what? It's still dealing torpor. All right. Uh, do I need to wait for that to chill? Oh, no. My, my guy's about to fall asleep. No, no, no. He's good. He's good. Oh, my goodness. Have a look at the, the, the torpidity. He nearly knocked out my uh, snake guys here from, from the grave. That would have been really bad. Um, can I go near him? Or is he still giving off torpor? I think we're safe now. All right, we're safe. Wow. All right. He demonstrated exactly why I'm so terrified of him. There it is, though. And he's all out. And I don't think I can ride you without a saddle. I cannot. In that case, I'm going to pick you up. And we're going to take him back home. Um, I'm going to saddle this thing up and see what he can do. All right. This opens so many doors. Oh, Arthur Pluro was about to get me. But this opens up so many darn doors. You guys have no idea. Oh, this is so good. Um, the reason this is good, I can now potentially deal enough torpor to start knocking out Kaiju. I might be able to go and start knocking out some of these Godzillas and getting some teams on them. Um, but, well, we don't know that for sure just yet. We got a little bit of testing to do. Not to mention, this is a beautiful looking snake. Unfortunately, he's really big too. So that's going to be kind of hard to work around. <laughs> All right, get back into your soul ball. Uh, let me see if I can afford a saddle. 
Uh, we need a basilisk saddle of the primal variety. I'm probably going to need some primal hide and some crystal as well. Okay, that's fine. That's actually not too bad. My guy, come here. We're going back. We're going back where we just came from. Because uh, there's lots of primals out there. Well, there's a lot of opportunity for primals out there. So that's probably going to be the best place to go looking for some primal hide. Um, where'd that thylacolio go from earlier? He was around here, wasn't he? Probably got knocked out and fallen asleep. All right. Well, I guess if we just run around and munch at everything, we're bound to find something eventually. What are these gigantoraptors out here? Eh? Oh, no, that was a, an Arca. Never mind. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think we're just going to have to kind of cruise around and find what we're looking for accidentally. Ooh, golden supply drop, though. What do you got? Obsidian gauntlets. Okay. Interesting. So supply drops can drop GG items out of them. It's only a blueprint. 282 armor. So nothing like remarkable. I just wanted to actually see them in person. Interesting. Good to know. Good to know. All right. We're heading up. And there's just so much on screen. I, I kind of wish we could hide the particles. Oh, we can. Awesome. One less thing kind of cluttering up the screen. So that's nice. All right. Basilisk. Oh, it's just a regular one. It's just a regular one. It's not going to knock us out, but something has set me on fire. So that's a little less than I do. Oh, Rock Drakes. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> speaking of aberration, Rock Drakes. All right. I can't see anything down here. So let's try and get our way out of here. Oh, we got some bosses up here too. I don't know what they are, but there are some. Okay, what's down here? The elemental tri uh, titanosaur. We got a rock drake on us. My guy, really? Okay, I don't even know what's going on right now. Something is hitting me with a ridiculous amount of torpor though. Is it you guys? Yeah, it's the wicked Arca. Because those guys, I forgot the wicked, wicked dinosaurs do torpor. I forgot about that. All right. We're good though, we're good. There's a Dota Rex down here too. Primeval Dota Rex. That's something else we need to start taking down. Primevals. We haven't actually... I think this might actually be the first Primeval we've encountered. Um, and it, uh, there's an Indominus Rex down here too. It's also a Karkonos in a tree for some reason. Um, these guys here though. Can I shoot my spikes over there? These guys here need to be taken down for us to progress to the next level. And eventually we'll tame these guys up and they're pretty powerful as well. <gasps> there we go. Primal Giga. Uh, well, oh, is it a Giga? Is, it, is that what you got? It's, it's a Gigantosaurus. So kind of. Um, but I think we should be good to take it down. Yep. And we get a thousand Primal Hide out of that. I think I just saw something over here as well. It's a Basilisk. It's going to die though. No, it's not. It killed something. Oh, okay. It's dead. Good. Uh, but it's dealing torpor. It's doing that after death torpor thing. I think we got away quick enough. Oh, no. There's ancient turkey. There's an ancient turkey nearby. There's an ancient turkey nearby. I can hear, I can hear the missiles. I can hear the missiles. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, this world is in full effect right now. Um, okay. Ancient turkeys. <laughs> we haven't... This is the first time encountering one. Uh, they they launched missile strikes. You heard the little beeps. That's basically it charging up and ready to unleash on us. I don't know where it went, but it's out there somewhere. Uh, they need to be very, very carefully avoided. Um, at all costs, really, at all costs. I don't know where it was or where it's gone, but I can't see it anymore. And that's probably a good thing. So let's avoid that. They have 3 million health at default. Uh, so we're probably not in the position to be fighting it with this guy. Um, especially because I'm pretty sure it deals a ridiculous amount of damage. However, what's this? What's this? Arthroclura. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. There we go. Another thousand primal hide. And that means we now have enough for our saddle. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fantastic. All right. 
So, what sort of damage am I dealing now? A pretty good amount. I just dealt 300,000 damage to something, but I think it must have been a, uh, must have been a beaver dam. So that doesn't really count. What sort of damage are we dealing? 33,000. I mean, that's a lot better than what we were dealing to take down the ancient Rex the other day. So if we can find another ancient Rex, we can at least get some more of that insta kibble and we can get some more of these powerful teams. Um, but we're not quite, well, I don't know. Might need some more levels on my guy to truly know if he's ready um but for now let's get this no i'm gonna get some crystal i just realized grafinski come with me my friend um i swear that i found some crystal over here the other day hold on is it in here yes i thought so that's some janky terrain over there i need 100 crystal let's put our new pickaxe to some work oh look at that so good <laughs> instantly nails it perfect all right now we're golden let's get this saddle crafted up and we can see how powerful our torpor dealing ability is so put that in there primal basilisk give me one of these please so what is that primal bigfoot helmet hmm i don't know if i've ever crafted one of those interesting Give me that. It's time to bust out the big snake. <laughs> the really big snake. <laughs> oh, yes. So cool looking to me. So cool. Oh my goodness. It's going to be impossible to actually see what I'm doing. But that's fine. Oh my goodness. It is a bit. It is giant. Look at the size of this thing. I think it's our biggest creature yet by far. But most important thing. <gasps> I wonder if this thing can damage the Karkonos. All right. Well, we're going to find out in just a second. Do some pretty good damage. 8,000 by default. All right. Uh, there's the Conflagrant Beast with Bufo. I'll probably kill it in a single hit. Right click. So right click shoots Poison Ball, I think. Which probably deals good, Torpor. Let's have a look. Pronto. Oh, a slow swimmer, though. All right. Let's shoot a little ball at this guy. And miss. Let's try again. All right. So not a lot. Okay, but it's the C ability. This one. I thought maybe not X. X. X is the. Yeah, there it goes. Look at that. Look at that torpor rise. <laughs> this just got things falling out of the sky. Nice. Look at that. Instantly 40,000 torpor on a single hit. And now we can just go in and clean up the scraps. And get this guy even stronger. Oh, that is so good. All right. The big question is, though, does it work on the crab? I don't expect it to, just for the record, but we've got to try. No. Oh. Okay. It's dealing damage, but it's not dealing torpor. Oh, it's picked me up. Whoa. Wait, what? Dude, I'm a giant. <laughs> I'm a giant snake. Put me down. Um, okay, I didn't expect this thing to be able to pick me up uh, and do a ridiculous amount of damage. Okay, I actually got to fight back. Okay, I was trying to just weasel my way out of this, but no, this is a fight to the death right here. Oh my goodness. Yep, dang it. I guess we ain't, I guess we ain't taming the crab. Oh, that sucks. But he, got, he, he was going to kill me. He took me down like three quarters of my health. Wow. All right then, fair enough. Um, be careful of those. Let's get some levels into health because that obviously ain't helping me either. 1.5 million. Crank up the damage while we're at it. Probably didn't need the damage, but still. Um, okay. Yeah, this guy, we're going to be careful with him, I guess. Not indestructible by any means. Just a really good torpor dealer. So that's nice. Also, what in the world? Okay. We're going to knock out the Leviathan over here. Who looks like he's just straight a little bit too far from home. Get a load of it, though. Um, hey, buddy. Does this work on giant fish? <laughs> you bet it does. I don't know why I wouldn't. Oi. Who's that? Oh. Mega shell on. All right, you can go, buddy. And we're, we're dealing 15,000 damage on this thing now. This thing might actually be stronger than my Spino overall. Wow. Like, level this guy up a bunch. 
he's probably going to hit harder. That's, that's, this is the most damage. Yeah, aside from my Spino, he deals double this. Um, but with a lot more levels, this guy is heavy. All right, we got to protect this guy, though. So this Basilisk is going to be vital in knocking out the prime evils and the bosses when the time comes. But we're not quite there just yet. So just going to kind of weasel him up here and, and park him for the time being. Um, I don't really need any of that. But welcome, my friend. Oh, and by the way, he's got this really cool mask on him. Hold on a second. Let's have a look. He's got the uh, otter mask, of course. Just an overall sweet looking basilisk. Love it. Um, I want to use this guy to knock out some kaiju soon. So that there is also on the cards. But for now, I think what I'm going to do... I was going to soul ball my Spino. But instead of that, I just want to make sure I've got everything valuable from him first. So that'll do. I want to I want to test this guy against something real strong. I got to find an ancient. I've got to find an ancient Rex, preferably. I'm not going to bother with an ancient. Uh, I'm not going to bother with an ancient turkey. Those guys are a little bit too much. But if we can find an ancient Rex, we can you know get some more of this instant gold and kibble, some future taming. Um, but also, I mean, we have a much we can we can do it a lot quicker now. It was a really slow burn using our, our Wyvern for that fight. But this time around, things are going to be a little different. There's a Rex over there, but it's not the type I'm looking for. I'm only really searching through here because, well, it's the easiest place to find creatures. Uh, but two, we found another one out here in the plains, which means they are spawning out here. We just got to find them. Um, I also like the coastline a lot of the time, but... That's never guaranteed either, unfortunately. Uh, wait a second. Hello. I see you. How you doing there, champ? Man, you're a lot smaller than I thought you'd be. They really don't stand out very much. But let's see what we can do. All right. Spino. It's time, my friend. It's time. Still very torpored, by the way. Not much we can do about that, but 33,000 damage. That's good. We can go and give it one more level. That's, I mean, some more, some more than that would be fantastic, but it's, <laughs> that's all we've got right this second. Um, I'm trying to think of some higher experience. Oh, this guy's trying to go for my griffin right now. Crafty little bugger. All right, first things first. I want to see what my projectiles do to it. Nothing, because I'm too far away, apparently. All right, let's try again. All right, not enough to, not enough to be a serious threat. But look at that. This is much better. Oh, and we do. Do we do? Do we do? We do bleed out damage, I'm pretty sure. No, we don't. Not to this guy. But already, this is so much faster than with the Wyvern. And it's, a, oh, it's actually a pretty tricky fight, too. Because he is wearing me thin. But we've got him down one third of the way already. Man, at some point, we're going to just one-shot these guys. Once, once we start to actually make up some progress... <laughs> make up some ground. We will annihilate this thing. Uh, but this is a way closer fight than I'm comfortable with right this second. He's got me blow half health too. Oh, snap. All right, hold on. It's all good. All good. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, dude, this is going to be actually real tight. I'm going to have to run in a second. I don't have any health potions. This is why we need health potions. Um, oh, boy. All right. I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to keep it going. This is so close. I'm going to hit him like eight more times, six more times, five more times, three more times, and we're done. Ooh, look how close he got me. He got me down 90% of the way. But we just snuck it in. And we end up with a pretty good hole of loot. Actually, it's actually that's an amazing long neck rifle. Uh, those gauntlets. Damn. Even though they're probably going to get busted by the first thing we fight. Still pretty good. Um... Yeah, you know, I'm probably going to grind up most of it <laughs> anyways. But the all important... Uh, hold on a second. Oh, here they are. Okay, yeah. Instant golden kibble. We've got four of those now. And something I actually forgot to mention earlier. We can use those to tame anything, I'm pretty sure. I think we can actually... Might even be able to use some, some kaiju when the time comes. So, yeah. 
maybe tomorrow well i don't know we've got everything we need to knock out a godzilla and potentially team one so we might do a little bit of testing there something i wanted to do like two weeks ago we might finally be able to do anyways guys we're gonna this one right here thank you so much for watching hope you did enjoy it i'll catch you in the next one very soon but until then keep smiling have a fantastic day bye for now